Hi everyone, my name is Meryl Stewart. I'm CEO of Marketing and Business Solutions. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about cause marketing. I know we've talked about this before, but I wanted to highlight a couple of things, especially for nonprofits out there that are looking for maybe a great partnership with a for-profit corporation to help you understand a little bit more about cause marketing and how this works as a strategy that many companies look at as a way to get their brand out there and associate with something good in the community. So just to kind of define, cause marketing involves a collaboration between a for-profit business and a nonprofit organization for a common benefit. And it's really important that it's a common benefit, not just something great for a for-profit company to do because they're trying to increase the revenue or increase their brand awareness, but also something that benefits that nonprofit and makes the, you know, there be some type of benefit for the nonprofit that also increases awareness or maybe position in the community. And so it's really important that that common benefit be really clear and expectations be set. But it's typically a brand association uh, with two partners that will help boost the corporate social responsibility perception for the company and also um, help create a really great collaborative partnership with a nonprofit that creates more awareness for the organization. So a common cause marketing model typically is a product or service that is sold by a company that is tied to a cause and part of those proceeds go to the organization, the nonprofit charity. Um, and it usually involves the company's marketing department, which I know is not always the direction that many nonprofit organizations go. Typically you're looking for those sponsorship dollars or maybe those charitable contributions, but marketing also has some resources typically within companies to leverage dollars in a little bit of a different way. But what it means is that they need some kind of marketing value in return. So it's kind of a, a cool but different partnership and collaboration typically between the nonprofit and the for-profit company. So here are some benefits. For the nonprofit, you know, the benefits are increased brand awareness. If you're aligned with the right company, with the right focus, it can increase your brand awareness and your exposure. Uh, it may increase your financial contributions because now more people know about what you do and that tie to the company may provide a different kind of credibility in the community that you're looking for that helps boost people's um, you know, thoughts about who you are and what you do. And it's also a great way to leverage the marketing budget of a company to benefit your organization. Most of you I know don't probably have big marketing budgets as nonprofits, but if you were to leverage the marketing budget of a for-profit company and work together collaboratively, it might be a win-win for both sides. For the corporate partner, and this is important for nonprofits to realize, the corporate partner is trying to fulfill typically some demand that they have to be a corporate, um, a socially responsible corporate partner. So they're looking for that corporate social responsibility angle and a way to kind of prove that in the marketplace. They may also be looking to improve their corporate image uh, they may be looking to build relationships in the community, especially if they've moved here or moved offices or headquarters to a location. Those partnerships with local organizations um, are usually a great way for them to get their feet wet and get to know the community. They may also be looking to increase their brand loyalty. Maybe their customers really need kind of a boost in understanding how they do things to benefit you know, the community that they serve. So it's really important that that be something that you keep in mind. It might also be that it's, it helps in boosting their employees' morale. Maybe the employees are looking for ways to do something good with their time or with their, their focus. And being a part of, you know, association with a nonprofit or a charity gives them that opportunity to feel good about the work they're doing in their corporate space, but also in the community. So those are some things to keep in mind. If you're a nonprofit looking for a cause marketing partnership, you need to know what motivates that corporate partner. It's important for you to find that common benefit. So I want to share with you just a couple ways that you can help cross promote these types of partnerships. Um, tagging each other in social media is critically important, especially right now as everything is so easily able to be tracked online and you can see the impact of your campaign and efforts so quickly. It's a great way to cross promote each other by tagging the business, the nonprofit, maybe some hashtags, and really building some momentum. You can also announce your partnership out to the public in a newsletter on both sides, uh, maybe to the media if it warrants a press release or some type of coverage, which is always great. Um, but it's a really great way to kind of engage the broader community. 
You could also write some blog posts about the experience or expertise. Sometimes that company might have a level of expertise in a topic that benefits your organization. And by associating yourself in a collaborative partnership, it allows you to leverage each other's expertise with each other's audiences. So maybe consider writing a blog post or showcasing your expertise in that partnership. And then obviously using each other's logos and marketing campaigns and really building awareness and kind of that splash um, of branding is, is always a great thing. What you wanna make sure that you do no matter what is get your audience involved. You want that company to get their audience involved by buying something or doing something in order to generate additional revenue for their company, but also to generate some level of profit or contribution for your organization. But you also wanna ask your audiences to do other things. You might need them to volunteer. They, you might need them to share with others the information because this is an awareness campaign and you want as many people to see it as possible. It might be that you want people to participate in an event that you're jointly doing together. So really think through that call to action. If you can come up with some common benefits that both of you are looking to achieve, then coming up with that call to action and figuring out the way to promote it to best suit your needs will be pretty easy. So I hope that helps you kind of clarify little things on cause marketing. It also gives you maybe some tips on places to start or conversations to have from a motivation standpoint to find that right partner out there. If you'd like some more information about what we do, visit www.mymabs.com. That's www.mymabs.com. You can also leave comments in this section or share this video. We welcome subscribers on our YouTube channel and we hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.